What's going on guys? I'm here 28 back today with another video and I made a video before on how to get your first 1,000 or your first 100 subscribers. Now today guys I'm going to be making a video on how to get your first 1,000 subscribers. So before we get into this video guys make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe for more videos like coming up soon is going to be how to gain subscribers fast, how to you know get likes on your videos fast, how to get views on your videos fast. But Anyways, guys, let's get straight into this video. So, basically, a lot of people ask me, you know, Zombie, how do you get subscribers on your YouTube? So, I guess my voice is not the best this morning. I, um, you know, just woke up. But, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, how you get your subscribers on YouTube. And it's pretty simple, guys. Basically, what you do is you got to make videos, like, if you're, you know... But if you are, you know, new to YouTube, the first thing that you gotta do before you can, you know, start actually, you know, wanting to get subscribers and start growing on your channel, is you have to basically make content that gets people staying on your video and make, you know, legit content, and make content, you know, that is entertaining, you know, or relevant to YouTube. And also, guys, make sure you do stay with one topic on YouTube because if you've already watched them, how to get 100 subscribers, which will be linked in the description below. Basically, once you start a channel and you pick a topic, maybe it'd be blogging, maybe it'd be YouTube, you're going to want to stick with the topic you've started your channel with. You're not going to want to move back and forth. Only people that have really grown and really have, you know, videos do that. You can't go back and forth between your content and your starting YouTube. Because people will not stay around if you are switching your content more than often. So if you're going to do a different video, or maybe you're going to start a different series, start a series on a different channel, as you guys know. I'm done with the Pennsylvania Hot Rod, make sure also, guys, if you are a smoker, and you use tobacco, make sure to go check out the PAL Rod, Pennsylvania Hot Rod, which will be linked in the description as well. Basically, I've made a separate channel for tobacco. That's basically my channel for you know, tobacco reviews. So, that's the main thing, guys. You don't want to overcrowd your channel with videos. I know more people think, you know, people think more, you know, the more videos you upload, the more people you're going to get to watch your channel. That is false. More people will start to click off. And also, guys, is to keep your videos very short in the beginning if you're starting a channel. Keep your videos short and keep them entertaining. Like, if you're going to do, like, maybe a Minecraft video, maybe you your house here own a house and keep it in like five to ten minutes and people will watch you maybe people will watch the video and engage with some kind of comment as well like tell me what you guys think or that you guys know that that's a few of my strategies and also guys another thing i know a lot of people struggle with is make a name that people are going to be able to find when they're typing something else up no guys do not type new do not name your channel coronavirus please do not do that guys but, Maybe like Black Ops 3 Gaming or, you know, Zombies Gaming, whatever your channel's going to revolve around, like me, Zombie Hunter, because I do a lot of Zombies videos, I do a lot of Zombies Guides, well, I used to do a lot of Zombies Guides, but I do do some Zombies Guides still, like the Staff Guides, and do something that your channel is, you know, relating to, like, you know, a Zombies Guide, depending on what you're doing on your channel, and don't change your channel name too many times, because people will start to lose track, people will lose, you know, so make sure you guys aren't doing that as well. And another main thing, guys, another main point I get a lot is don't live stream all the time. Like this video, this video is not being live streamed right now. You you don't want to live stream everything. I know a lot of people like to live stream. A lot of people like to just stream their moments. But if you're gonna stream, make sure that you're doing it on something actually legit, like an opening on Black Ops, like I do. Like I'll do a, you know, what I want to call that. Like, I'll do a supply drop opening on, like, you know, multiplayer, and I'll actually watch stream that. That's when you want to watch stream. You don't want to watch stream just for sort of any old time, you know, because that can really, really, you know, people are not going to sit and watch a 30, 40 minute watch stream after the fact. And so, do live streams after, you know, maybe after when you're doing something that actually needs to be live, you know, on YouTube. Another main thing, guys. Is keep your videos clean. I know this is a very difficult one for a lot of users. Is to be clean on your video. I have no idea why, but it is. You have to be clean on your videos due to you could have younger audiences. 
audience is watching you, you know, watching your videos, you need to keep your videos, you know, very clean, and stuff like that. You need to keep your video clean. And another main point is, guys, is if you're doing stuff on YouTube that has child-restricted content, like smoking or chewing or drinking, something that, you know, revolves around adult content, make sure those videos are being sent to people over 18, mainly because it's going to make your channel go down if you do not. Like, every video I have on the video one is set for people over the age of 18 to watch. So make sure that, you know, you are doing that. Make sure it's... People, your, your video is set for the right age chapter one, basically. And another thing, guys, I feel this is a lot, is you want to stay with YouTube. You can't post a video and then wait two weeks, post another. You've got to post daily or make a schedule with your viewers that you're going to be posting. Because that is another main reason, you know, how you get people to subscribe is actually, you know, taking the time. And if you get a reply or something... Also, guys, if you are getting 500 replies a day, I don't expect you, I don't expect you guys to, you know, be part of 500 of them, but you need to at least reply to a few of them, because it shows your audience you care about what they say, what you care about what they're commenting, it, that's what it shows, it shows, you know, you're caring about what your viewers are, you know, watching, and you actually care about the people coming over and, you know, subscribing to you, so that is another main reason, guys, that... That's another main thing. I think people struggle with a lot. And uploading time, like I've said, guys, really needs to be, you know, very, very short. If you're new to YouTube, your videos need to be five minutes at the very least. Now, for people that, you know, have grown their YouTube, people that have, you know, become, you know, with the YouTube, can make their videos 10, 15, 20 minutes. They can do that because they have, you know, have enough people watching their channel. But, yeah, guys, that's basically how to get with your first 1,000 subscribers. That was my strategy um, to get 1,000 subscribers. I you know, posted things every day. I admit, well, I post videos every day. I posted relevant videos to YouTube. You don't want to be posting videos that are irrelevant and have no meaning on your channel. Like, you don't want to call your video the TF or whatever, TF, and, you know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that because people are not going to, but one, they're going to click on it. It's just going to be relevant to them. Sure, they might click on it, but you're not going to get anybody to actually come back. So, you want to keep them on the edge, like hanging, you know, like keep them like a cliffhanger. Have you ever heard that in movies? Where, like, you'll keep, you'll keep the person hanging off, well, you're not going to literally be keeping them hanging, but you're going to be keeping them waiting for your next video and what you're going to be doing in your next video. So, but for me, what I'll basically say is, like, stay tuned or something like that. And then most people usually will come back to you if. You know, they, they think they're being tuned for something else. You know, they're going to be tuned in for something else. They want to they see more. Or if you play a series, keep them tuned to want to come back to that series. But yeah, guys, that's basically my strategy on how to get 1,000 subscribers. If you did, I think this was a pretty good video. Make sure you guys do drop a like and also subscribe. And you know, I am grateful for all the support I've been getting on the channel lately. So make sure you guys go ahead and do drop a like and subscribe.